Well, hey, Gundam Maniacs, welcome to another episode of Gundam Explained. You know what? I'm a little under the weather, so I don't have a properly produced video or researched or whatever, if you can call that properly. <laughs> but anyway, um, but I didn't want to leave you without a video, and I actually want to talk about something that's timely, and that is Gundam Breaker 4. Um, so, Gundam Breaker 4 is going to be here really soon. In fact, um, it might even be not too long after this video goes up, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but what's interesting is... I wanted to uh, pre-order the collector's edition to get the Gumpla, right? And I was looking on Reddit, and it seems that, uh, and even with me just today, we're now getting that notification that is being sent out. Uh, but then it says 7 to 10 days. So those that pre-ordered the special edition won't even get it for release, potentially. It, it could be that once they're out there and shipped, it will come quicker than that. But that, that's kind of disappointing. Um you know, I did pre-order on the PS5. That was to be able to get the uh, uh, collector's edition with the Gunpla, though really I'm more of a PC guy, so um, I'll be getting it on PC anyway. Um, but another thing is in the Discord for Gundam Explain, check the link below. Uh, in the Discord, I have a Gundam Breaker 4 uh, voice chat in there. I want to start having people come in to play Gundam Breaker 4 in there like we were doing with GBO2. That way, it's easy for people to find others to play with at any time. Um, I want to plan to Thursday and Friday uh, be online to play. So I'll be in the server. It's actually my birthday on Friday. Um, and then uh, Steven's birthday um, is uh, here too. So, no, and uh, Kyle, oh, it's crazy that. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, it'll be a good opportunity for a bunch of us to be hanging out in the Discord, uh, play some yeah, Gun and Breaker 4. Um, but yeah, again, link for the Discord below. But let's look at some let's look at some reviews, shall we? Now, I'm going to be taking all these reviews with a grain of salt because Gundam is just that more different, unique thing, right? So right now, and it's the PS5 version... It's generally favorable based on six critic reviews with an 80. So that's the thing with the people that are going to be reviewing this game are people that know about it. If you notice, as we go through, there's not that many outlets I'm familiar with. It's This same thing happened with SD Gun and Battle Alliance where the bigger outlets just kind of skip over these games. But anyway, uh, let's look at the latest critic review reviews. Twinfinite. Never heard of them. They've got the highest score here. The beauty of Gun and Breaker is that you don't need to be a fan of the larger gun and franchise to get plenty of enjoyment out of it. It scratches the itch of an action game and a loot game all in one, and I can't seem to get enough. At heart, it's still a game uh, all about making the wackiest robot you can that still absolutely shreds through enemies, and I think that's amazing. What's really cool about this little snippet here is nothing was really about Gundam, like, oh, the Gundam franchise, it's doing this. It's really someone explaining how much fun they have playing the type of game this is. So that's why, to me, a 90 actually makes sense out of what this person is saying. Um, we have PSX Brazil, CG Magazine, you know, Noisy Pixel. I don't know many of these uh, uh, companies here. Silicon Era, I've heard of. Let's let's look at that. Going into Gunner Breaker 4, you need to accept that it's the type of game that will involve grinding missions for experience and parts. I felt the ensuing Gumpla I'd create and opportunities to collect even more customization elements was worth it, especially since the combat system is tight and it all looks really good. If you're not up for replaying a lot of assignments and dealing with occasional hurdles and fights that might feel better balanced for multiplayer, it might be wise to look at an older entry. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, but it could be a really good time, especially if you love the Gundam and spinoff series or have a crew you'll be playing it with. Wow, that ending makes sense there. Okay, 70, that's on the low end, but that's still good. Uh, but just saying, like, if you have a crew or you, if you love Gundam, so that, that, that sounds good there. Um, okay, let's move on to this is open critic it's just another one um while we'll see some of the same runs here like noisy pixel psx brazil um i think there's some other ones in here because it's got a 56 percent critics recommend um let's see yeah i haven't heard of this person they give it stars um oh this would go to their whole site um interesting um well, I never heard of them. That's the thing. Some of these, if I don't really know the history of games they review, it's really hard for me to take them seriously. And that's the thing, I think, because Gundam is kind of a niche thing in the first place. We're not seeing any reviews from notable video game journalists, reviewers, etc. 
Um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, over here uh, on Reddit, someone posted that Kakarot has a video review up, so uh, check that out if you haven't. Um, you know, as a Gundam fan, I'm subscribed to Kakarot. I'm sure you are, too. Um, but, yeah, so that's about it. Again, short one. Again, I'm I'm super under the weather, and I did not feel like working on any of the, the videos I have <laughs> progress. And so, uh, but... Uh, I have this method here that makes it easy for me, so I'm not killing myself doing this. But I'm excited about Gundam Breaker 4. Um, and, and it's not because I think it's going to be an amazing game. I just think it's going to be fun for the Gundam community um, for a game like this to exist. I mean, right now, we have Star Wars Outlaws <coughs> and Black Myth Wukong, which both I am in the middle of and I'm having so much fun with. And then... Konami dropped the Castlevania DS collection. Holy macaroni. That's been something we've been waiting for forever. And it just dropped this week, the week of my birthday with Gundam and Star Wars. It's a lot of fun. So, yeah, link below to the Gundam Explained Discord. Um, there is a Gundam Breaker 4 channel. I want to yeah, start getting people in there. So there's always someone that we can jump in with. I'll be on all weekend. So, anyway, yeah, that just about does it. Thanks all. And, uh... We'll talk later.